a, a list of widgets, which is rendering a hard-coded list of, our, um, of widgets that are being provided by the reducer. But we want the data to come from a server. So let's create a server that provides the same data. Uh, so we have here a uh, Java um, project, right, that we are going to um, provide the data from this Java server as a RESTful API. So to start, uh, we're going to need to um, uh, go into our Java directory here and under our under the package right that uh, we have the um, the main start of the application right if you open up demo application in a spring boot uh, project you'll notice that this one has your main function right so this is the start of the spring boot application so in the same package that you have your demo right uh, we're going to create a couple of things right in here we're going to create a directory in that direct a i'm sorry a package and we'll call it models right. in models we're going to create the information that we want to send back and forth <clears throat> between the server and the client so we'll create a java class we'll call it um widget right and this java class we, we're going to have all the fields we want to send back and forth between the server and the client uh, so we'll we'll um declare several private uh, variables in here class variables for now we'll just start with with these three with these um title can't type today there it is we'll start with those two simple things and we'll um we'll generate the um in the code we'll generate all the setters and getters generate both setters and getters Right, to to make this a full blown uh, Java Bean um, Java Bean class, right? A Java Beans state that you have to have um, all the all the fields to be private, and you're going to have several mutators, setters, and getters to read and write uh, the the data. Excellent. So we have that. Um, we might want to have a, a constructor uh, to help out with initializing these guys. So let's create also. Let's generate a constructor constructor uh, that takes both arguments. Okay, so that's a full-blown uh, constructor, and probably we'll need a default constructor as well. So uh, generate a constructor that does not does not generate anything. The uh, takes no arguments. There it is. So the default constructor. Everybody good? All right. To be a a a, um, a Java bean, uh, in the, the specification specifies that you have to have at least a default constructor, right? At a minimum. All right. Excellent. So we have we have our model. Right. Let's now see if we can create a, um, a RESTful service that exposes this data model for us. Let's do that next. 